Hello, everybody, and welcome to History 100, uh, U.S. History to 1877. Uh, my name is Scott Keyes, and I will be your professor uh, for this course. Uh, I wanted to make this video as a way to introduce myself to you and just to tell you how excited I am about being able to teach this course and engage with you as we dive into a, a brief overview of U.S. history. Again, from about the colonial era, from around 1607 up through uh, the post-Civil War period known as Reconstruction, which ends in around 1877. So a little bit about me. I love history. I love students. And I view my job as an act of service. I'm here to help you as best I can and do what I can to ensure that you succeed and that you excel. To that end, I have created a fairly detailed syllabus. And I would ask that you would go through that syllabus in order to understand what my expectations are. For example, what my late policy is, what my plagiarism policy is as well as what your textbook is to be, and of course, what the assignments are and when those assignments will be due. Uh, one of the things I am offering early on is a little bit of extra credit. Uh, if you are able to provide for me some information from the syllabus, as well as from this video about what my expectations are, uh, how you would uh, get an A kind of thing, what my late work policy is, and just give me an overview, a summary overview of this video and of the syllabus so that I know that you are aware of what's going on and why the class is structured the way it's structured, that would be fantastic. And I'm offering five points extra credit uh, for just providing me an email uh, with a summary of those particular things, okay? Now, one of the things I want to let you know and then I want to stress is that this is a summer course, and it is a class that will run about four and a half weeks. I know it says it's a five-week class, but it actually ends midweek during that fifth week, uh, and that's because that's the way that the school has scheduled the course. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because this class is traditionally an 18-week course. So we are taking 18 weeks worth of material and cramming it into about four and a half weeks. Now, that's a lot of content that we're going to have to cover, and I understand that, and I'm here to help you as best I can. And one of the things I want to do here uh, before I get into a little bit of information about the syllabus is to provide for you an explanation of what I've done to try to make this course more manageable for you. So I have actually gone through all the lectures and tried to condense them in order to provide you just the most significant material as best I possibly could. And so within each week, you're going to have a series of lectures that I will have voice narrated for you. So I've built PowerPoints and I have voice narrated them so that they are lectures. These um, lectures range between about 30 to 50 minutes depending upon the content. Uh, and then each week you will have to listen to about two or three of these in addition to some films. Now, each film represents an additional lecture that I chose not to make you listen to because those lectures are incredibly long. And so I'm providing you the most concrete information within a range of about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. One of the things I have tried to do is just help you um, have the most concise information as possible. And another way I've done that is I've your textbook. Your textbook is a concise edition of a much larger book. And as often as I possibly could, I'm only making you read certain sections of each chapter. Now, the caveat to that is that some chapters I am asking you to read the entire thing. But again, the point that I'm trying to stress here is that I have done what I can to try to make this course more manageable. And one of the things you will see if you're watching this video, you've already gone into course information, uh, is that I have created a structural outline for you for each week. You don't have to follow this, but the reason why I've created these is to help you manage your time so that you can get through each of the lectures and each of the films. Obviously, you're free to ignore those as much as you want, but if you are someone who just wants a little bit more structure going through the course, you can follow that outline, and it will give you work to do each day so that by Friday, you will have gotten through all the material, and you can use the weekend to complete the assignments 
uh, that I have for you. Um, so the course itself has been a bit restructured, new PowerPoints, new assignments, new videos. Uh, I largely rely on uh, Crash Course History, uh, which is made by John Green and a number of others who are his production team, but they are very sound, historically accurate, uh, and so I'm using them as a means to be able to provide for you additional information that would otherwise have to be done in a much larger, longer lecture. So uh, there's a little bit of my methodology and why I chose to do what I did. Now, as far as my syllabus goes, there's a couple things you do need to know. Each week you will have some questions you have to answer and you will have some quizzes that you will have to answer. All of your work needs to be submitted by Sundays at 11.59 p.m. Because the course is only four and a half weeks, I'm not actually going to require you to respond to other students' posts because there's a lot of content you have to get through each week and it's gonna be enough just for you to get your own work up. Now, if you decide to respond to another student, which I would encourage you to do, I am offering some extra credit for that um, if you uh, want to respond to other students. And I'll gauge how many points I give you based upon the content and quality of your response to another student. But it's not required, okay? But all weeks begin on Monday and they will end on Sunday at 11.59 p.m. You will have access to the discussion board questions throughout the entire week. But the quizzes themselves will not appear to you, and they should appear at the bottom of each class content week. Those will not appear to you until Fridays. I'm only giving you three days to actually accomplish these quizzes. Now, as my syllabus says, there is no time limit on these quizzes, and of course you're free to use your book, your notes, what have you as you take them. Um, but you will have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to complete the quizzes, but you will have the entire week to work on the discussion boards. Now, those discussion boards, you will not see other people's posts until you upload your own post. Uh, I've had students in the past who oftentimes copy or summarize other people's responses, and I want to make sure that what I'm reading from you is, is your own ideas, your own interpretations of the material. So um, that's all laid out in the syllabus as well, as are my expectations. Uh, generally speaking, I don't take late work except for emergency situations, and I make quite clear what I regard as an emergency situation. Generally, it would be a medical emergency, right, or perhaps like a death in the family. I do not regard work schedules, family schedules, or even technological malfunctions as uh, emergency situations. Now, that stated, I'm here to help you. Please be in constant communication with me as I will try to be in constant communication with you um, so that we're all on the same page. We only have four and a half weeks to do all this material, so we have to make sure that we're very clear on what we're doing. Now, each week, as mentioned, there will be a video that I will provide for you, giving you information about the week and updating you on some things. And also, each lecture, as I've already mentioned, is actually voice narrated. So in order to hear me speaking, you need to view the lecture or view the PowerPoint as a slideshow. Once you do that, you will hear me speaking to you. Uh, and so this is actually helpful because... As some students have told me, it helps them to feel like they're more uh, taking a traditional in-class, uh, traditional face-to-face -face course as opposed to an online course. But that's one of the things I think is important is that uh, there's this understanding that I am here with you uh, and that I am teaching you uh, as opposed to just giving you a book to read and, and then having you respond to questions. So um, that I think is all I have for you for this particular video. But again, I encourage you, look at the syllabus. Respond to me through an email about what this video has said, you know, explain to me, you know, how the course has been laid out and, and what's been done for you, as well as what my expectations are, when assignments are due, what my late work policy is, all that kind of stuff. So um, if you're interested in the extra credit, please do that. Otherwise, um, as I always do and as I end every lecture and every video, I will say to you, go in peace, be warm and filled, may the force be with you, and live long and prosper. All right, guys, have a great week.